All right, and with that great weather we are about to see, you can bet people will head to the Dan River, which flows through many of our northern counties, including Rockingham. And if you're not careful, it could be dangerous. Yeah, just last week, a woman and her grandchild had to be rescued from the river in Rockingham County. And two years ago, you probably remember a tubing accident on the river near Eden killed five people. Local groups took it upon themselves to make things safer. Fox Ace Natasha Laguerre joins us live from Eden. Hi, Natasha. What are these groups doing? Well, Neil, the Dan River Keepers are putting up these bilingual signs, and you can see one of them is in, this plus side is in Spanish and in English, and this is all in an effort to help folks that are traveling through Dan River to know what lies ahead. The problem is some of these signs are disappearing. It is no surprise that Dan River is gaining popularity among visitors. They use the rivers for recreation, for fishing, the tourism draw, and this area is, is huge. It's, it's growing significantly. Dan River keeper Stephen Pulliam says safety is their biggest priority to avoid what happened two years ago. On June 16 of 2021, a family of nine went tubing on the Dan River when the group went over the Duke Energy Dam. Five of those family members died. It's a vast difference on the section of river where the folks went over the dam unexpectedly. The decommissioned bridges are littered with signage in English and in Spanish. The accesses where you could get onto the river before those dams are, are covered as well with signage. It's these signs that can make the difference between life and death for bilingual visitors. The Dan River Keeper put up a total of 25 signs near the dam. However, the group has faced some challenges. William mentioned some of the Spanish signs have been stolen, vandalized, and even taken down. They've been replaced, but at a cost of $200 per sign. Since first installing them back in 2021, the team has had four incidents. It's concerning, um, especially when the language barrier is present. And, um, you know, that's something this county, this area, and hopefully everywhere is more inviting to that, you know, we have differences and it's not that it's something that's going to stand between us. It's something that can unite us even stronger if we just are open to that suggestion. And the Rockingham County Tourism Team is putting up these guidebooks and you can find them at any river access point. And if you flip the book right here, you will see a QR code and if you click on it, it will translate everything into Spanish. Live in Eden, Natasha Lager, Fox 8 News.